Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about whole number division with decimal answers. So throughout this topic, I'll be giving you three different examples wherein the quotient or the answer has a decimal point. So I hope na matuto kayo within this tutorial and stay tuned para mas master nyo kung paano mag-divide ng whole numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the given direction, divide the following. So for item number 1, we have 26 divided by 5. So a lot of us or a lot of our students um, find it difficult in dividing whole numbers, lalo lalo na if the quotient has decimals. So what will happen here is that first, you need to identify which one is your divisor and which one is your dividend. Here, in 26 divided by 5, 26 is your dividend, while this is your divisor. So, ilagyan natin siya dito sa box natin. Okay. So, we're in, yung divisor natin 5, i-place natin siya sa labas. And then, yung, yung dividend ng 26 ay nasa loob. Should be placed inside. So, first step is to divide first 2 and 5. So, since 5 is greater than 2, we cannot divide 2 by 5. So we will move on with two digit numbers. So we have 26, 26 divided by 5. Ilang 26, ilang 5 ba meron tayo 26? So we have 5 fives in 26. So this is 5. And then we will multiply 5 to 5. It will give you 25. So again, recap lang tayo. 2 divided by 5 is cannot be. And then, since ni, hindi pwede yung single digit number to be divided by 5, let's move on with this with a two digit number. And then 26 divided by 5, it will give you 5 because we have 5 fives in 26. And since we are done getting this 5, you need to multiply it back to your, div, to your divisor. 5 times 5, that is 25. And then next step after multiplying is subtracting these numbers. So as you can see, we have 26 minus 25. It will give you 1. So since you at inakuwang difference is not yet 0, so we will uh, still continue our division. And since we have a time number dito, we will try to put a decimal point here and extend that into. And then let's put 0 here and then bring down 0. So we have here our new dividend, which is 10. And then 10 divided by 5, that will give you 2. And 2 times 5, that is 10. And as you can see, subtracting this, this will give you 0. Since the code, since the difference is 0, we will stop here. So I forgot that we need to put decimal point here. Therefore, the quotient for example number 1 is 5.2 or 5 and 2 tenths. So 26 divided by 5 is equivalent to 5.2 or 5 and 2 tenths. So let's move on with number 2. We have 330 divided by 8. So this is your dividend and this is your divisor. So you will place 8 outside of the box. So you have here this one, 330. So first, we need to try dividing 8. Uh, the first digit by 8. So 3 divided by 8 cannot be because 8 is greater than 3. So let's move on with the two digit numbers. So 33 divided by 8. So there's a lot of number 8s inside 33 and that is equal to 4 because there are 4 8s in 33. And after dividing, remember I divide, I will place it here, divide, multiply, subtract. Again, divide, multiply, and subtract. So after dividing, 4 times 8, that will give you 32. So we're done multiplying, and then we need to subtract these numbers. So you have 33 minus 32, that will give you 1. Okay? So we need to bring down 0. So we have our new dividend, which is 10. So 10 divided by 8, it will give you 1. Because we only have 1 8 in 10. And then multiplying 1 and 8, it will give you 8 
subtracting these numbers, this will give you 10 minus 8. This is how many? This is equal to 2, right? Okay. So as you can see, the difference here is not yet zero. So we will continue subtracting. And then we will add decimal here as well as in your quotient. So we will put zero here. So bring down zero. We need to bring down zero. And then this is our new dividend. So we need to, to divide 20 by 8. And that will give you 2. Then 2 times 8, that is 16. So subtract this. You have 4. Since the difference is not yet zero, we will add another zero here and then we will extend this line. Okay, so bring down zero. So we have our new dividend, which is 40. And 40 divided by 8, that will give you 5. And then 5 times 8, that is 40. And as you can see, in subtracting these two numbers, 40 minus 40, this will give us zero. So we will stop here. So the correct answer for item number 2 is 41.25. This is the quotient of our second example, 41.25. Now for example number 3, we are given here 126 divided by 5. So obviously, this is your dividend. Your dividend is 126 and your divisor is 5. So we will place 5 outside the box. So we have here... 126 divided by 5. So first again, um, we will divide the single digit first. 1 divided by 5 is cannot be because 5 is greater than 1. And then we will proceed with the two digit division. So 12 divided by 5, it will give us 2. And then, diba, sabi ko, pattern, our, our pattern is divide, multiply, subtract. We're done with dividing. Let's move on to multiplying. So 2 times 5, that will give you 10. And then subtracting it, you have here 2. So bring down 6. Okay? So we have here our new dividend, which is 26. So 26 divided by 5. We know that there, there are 5 fives in 26. So this is 5. And then you need to multiply again. 25, sorry, a 5 times 5, that is 26. Uh, sorry, 25. And then subtract this, it will give you 1. Since the quotient is not yet 0, we will add zero he decimal here and 0, and also a decimal here in our quotient. So bring down 0. So our new dividend here is 10, in which we will continue dividing. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. And 2 times 5, that is 10. And subtract these numbers, this will give you 0. Since the difference is equal to zero, we will stop dividing. This is the answer for item number three. The answer is 25.2. So I hope you learned something from this video in, on how to divide whole numbers with decimal answers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!